Pine. Good evening to you. I'm Jennifer Bayless. And I'm Rick Van Hoos. The National Weather Service now says preliminary reports show a tornado touchdown in Paoli early this morning. Yeah, and in the Louisville area, lg and &E crews spent the day working to restore power for thousands in the metro. At the same time, tree companies <laughs> really had their hands full trying to clear the roadways. WOKY's Mark Vanderhoff joins us now from Blankenbaker Lane, which was closed most of the day. And Mark, how are things looking there right now? See a big tree behind you. <laughs> Yeah, Rick, Jennifer, you can see this is just the root stock. A tree company had a chance to come out here and cut some of the tree away since the last time we came out. As you can see, it fell over their circular driveway toward Blankenbaker Lane and toward the power lines. But as the homeowner tells us, could have been worse. Stayed up like the rest of the world watching the news for the storm information and decided to go to bed around 1.30. And uh, we woke up to this at, at 7 a.m. We didn't hear it. Um, neighbors called to see if we were okay. And that's how we came out front to see what was going on. When this mighty oak fell on Blank and Baker Lane, it took out other trees with it. Now, we're used to seeing branches down, but this is, this is something else. This utility pole was snapped and had to be braced and these trees hit the power lines. Could have been worse. If it would have gone that way, it would have, would have hit the bedroom of, of probably both the nine-year-old and the five-year-old. So we can clean up a tree, we can fix the driveway, and it could have always been worse. The worst damage seemed to be in northeast Jefferson County. Down trees and limbs blocked many roads from Indian Hills to Norton Commons. This lg &E crew worked to restore power off Rudy Lane, where this tree hit a power line. This limb knocked out power in part of Pee Wee Valley and left a live wire on the road for a while. At the height of the outages Monday morning, lg &E reported 4,900 customers without power in Jefferson and the surrounding counties. So the neighbors aren't happy because uh, we get our power from the back. So I've got power and internet and everything we need. Uh, and all these guys across the street are out because the tree took the line. With this mess in his front yard, Wilkinson took the day off work. I'll be standing here watching guys who are, who are uh, stronger and braver than I am clean this stuff up, and hopefully by tomorrow, maybe we'll be back to normal. Now, the last time I checked, they had power restored to all, but about 1,000 lg e customers, and they expect everyone to have their power back by about 11.30 tonight. Along Blankenbaker Lane in Indian Hills, Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.